responding one Saval Frontier, blue side. It's Floyd plays a leak to alpha melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt some great offense too. Up against on the red side is Fat E plays a big stompy war boss melee commander that walks through cover, very good offense, disruption and support from the front line. This can also be incredibly tough late game. Saval Frontier, and after victory points, natural running northeast to southwest along this central line with a huge amount of points to cap on it. Both players have a natural power towards the south and the west, and some natural rec points too. Double sluggers opening for Fat E, double tummy guns into spawn mines for Floyd. The two commanders clashing, special attack there from the Lictor up and knocking the Warboss flying. Who goes to tie up Termigants, instantly takes out model with his chain axe, throws it aside. Here comes Sluggers from the rear. Spawn mines moving in. Can he catch these Sluggers with them? As you can see, they're moving these Termigants out of the way. Doesn't want to catch them in the blast. Spawn mines basically floating grenades that will suppress and damage all nearby units when they detonate, including allied ones. Warboss just about gets away here. Sluggers engaging those spawn mines, eating a detonation, but they do take them down. Victor Alpha now in amongst. Maybe we'll see the Toxin Miasma weapon for the Lictor Alpha, which you see very little of. Northeast is blue, center turning red, and the south is uncapped. No sign of. Toxin sacks. No sign of any power expenditure from Floyd. In fact, Sluggers moving in here. Suppressed those Termigants with aiming. What's that? Big shooters of the Shooter Boys getting a damage reduction, a slight damage reduction in 2.2. To 1 to 1 cap. Early, very, very slight VP lead for Floyd. Had a good couple of first engagements there, I think. Spawn mines didn't pan out. All that well that they kept the sluggers at bay, stopped them chasing the termigants. Hormagant's going to decap this fully matured wreck point up to plus 30 per minute there. One to one. Here comes the war boss. Maybe we'll see his enhanced custom shoot up to peel off termigants as he chases them around. Warrior Brood on the way for Floyd will give him some basic synapse on the field, which the Lictor Alpha does not provide himself. 500, 476. Gonna try and decap mid. No, here comes Sluggers. Sluggers are gonna get a cost reduction in their burners in 2.2, down to just 15 power, which will be good for them. Warboss with a stomp. That's his starting ability disruption around the Warboss, and there's a special attack as well. Really is a disruptive commander to start off. You can get him close in amongst enemies. 500, 476 looters on the way now for Fatty. A setup team that will suppress with this big death gun. Lots of buffs for the looters in Elite Mod compared to Retail. Really useful setup team now. So one to one cap. Still nobody has gone near the southwest. All these points uncapped here. Looks like the orcs are gonna move down there. I thought we were gonna see burners on the sluggers and these generators taken out, but I guess not. Looters moving up to cover this approach see the firing arc there. Warboss on capping duty, shooters on capping duty. Victor Alpha infiltrates himself. No sign of a shooter knob to try and detect him yet. 486, 476. These guys retreating. Victor Alpha gets into retreat path. Can he get a model? Is he going to use his flesh hook? No. Warboss now retreating. Might be able to take this guy out if he gets the Hormongons on him and uses flesh hook. Or flesh hooks even. No, he doesn't even try it. Oh my god, so I'm gonna decap this wreck point again. So annoying. Warrior Brood capping mid a heavy infantry squad. That leap into melee combat passively also have power melee weapons. Reasonably tough with 1050 hit points. Provide a basic synapse as well, which helps out Termigants and Hormagons and other non-synapse creatures. And we do have burner sluggers gonna burn down these generators. Gives them a couple of power melee weapons in the squad and Flamers, obviously. Got a bit distracted by a bush, but now they're back to burning down. The generators looks like they're just going to get one. Not even get one of them. Looters here infiltrate, which is a unique thing that they can do among setup teams. Infiltrate themselves. Need to set up and try and 
deal with this melee force. As you can see, Floyd reacting very quickly there, trying to split his forces. These Hormogots in huge amounts of trouble, though. Just lost sight of where they went, and he might lose this squad. No, they survived with a single model. Eight hit points. That was lucky. Warrior Brood did force off the looters. Good play from both players there. The Warriors did not attack the Sluggers on retreat there. Big mistake. Could have taken out a couple of models. Their eyes. Hard boys on these sluggers. That's a global from the war boss. 25% damage reduction from all sources. But they are forced off there. It's important when playing a war boss to make him waste his globals when he uses user choppers or hard boys. Either control the squad that is getting buffed or try and force them off or just try and avoid them altogether so it's wasted. 462, 425, 221 cap. The bottom is all capped up for the orcs top all capped up for the Tyranids. No sign of tier 2 from any player. Fat E will be able to go very soon as will Floyd so they're, so they're going to go at around about the same time. I assume we're going to see melee synapse from Floyd to boost up these Hormagaunts who do have their adrenal glands. They really do need the adrenal glands I think to stand up against shooters, DPS and these double sluggers. Looters forced off again overextending slightly there to try and set up Warrior Brood again owned by these sluggers there's user choppers used a little bit too late and these sluggers now in huge amounts of trouble and they are wiped out by the Hormagons big big victory for Floyd these shooters in trouble now Fatty needs to move them and loses them wow very 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 bad to end into the end of tier 1 for Fat E bemoaning his orcs there. 460-398. Slugger's decapping. Not sure what happened if he got his squads mixed up and retreated the wrong ones or something. Not sure. Double turn against with toxin sacks up for Floyd. Maybe is what's known as a sticky retreat when the wrong squad gets retreated. That usually When that usually happens though, you retreat two squads including one that he didn't want to retreat here comes the war boss has no war gear has not leveled lictor up was level two and he's going for feeder tendrils which are a power melee weapon that self heal the lictor alpha really was hoping we'd see toxin miasma going after these sluggers now not sure how much it heals him i think it's two percent per hit so i'm not entirely sure though really is owning these sluggers though there's a sink kill sluggers have odd boys but it's not going to save them from these feeder tendrils not sure the dps these guys put out i think the feeder tendrils are around 60 dps power melee which is pretty nasty bearing in mind though that elixir alpha cannot get a ranged weapon sidearm type thing let's get the awesome flesh hooks though now going after the war boss and he's tanking that chain axe with the feeder tendrils. A good choice from Floyd in the end. Forced off sluggers and the war boss. Wow. Now has the deadly jump. Awesome war gear for the Lictor Alpha allows him to disrupt from range. Here comes a weird boy from Fat E. An obvious choice versus Tyrion is pretty much such a strong unit right now, I think. And a death dread on the way here is the weird boy, sub commander for orcs. Awesome disruption and damage to large blobs of infantry. We're going to see the crazy warp vomit, I think. Look at the damage that single attack did to those termagants. That's his normal attack as well. Sluggers with their knob leader now for Fat E, fully upgraded. I think the knob leader has power melee. I'm not entirely sure about that. Here comes the weird boy. He's going to warp for me all this stuff, isn't he? 447308. No, he gets flesh hooked in the face. Just turned around and looked at them. And this, might, this guy might go down here. Here comes the death dread. Walker vehicle for orcs. Lots of nasty splash damage. Not great at going up against other vehicles, but can hurt infantry quite a lot going after the Warrior Brood. Really needs its burners and bits upgrade though to be competitive, and there it is. Is it going to survive? There's a special attack which wins the engagement. Special attacks win engagements, guys. 
Sluggers owning the Warriors and forces them off. And what looks like a dead Death Dread turns into a very bad engagement for Floyd. Lictor Alpha now getting owned by the Death Dread and Sluggers leaps away. Level 3 gets away too. Sluggers staying in this, in this engagement with four models. How have they got four models with 180 hit points? Good grief. Forcing off these Termigants. Termigants need to run away. Ouch. Wow, the Death Dread doing very well. Need some repairs. Those Sluggers are the repair unit for Orcs. So they both need to get back to base. And here is a Venom Brood for Floyd. Anti-Vehicle unit for Tyranids. Also can be upgraded to provide a ranged synapse. Which he might do to boost those double termigants. He's going tier 3 now in fact. Really good DPS from those guys. 447, 236. Looters which weren't really a part of that last engagement for some reason. Here's that weird boy again. No upgrades yet. So that range attack taking chunks off that node. There's 500, en 500 energy there as you can see. Which seems like a ridiculous amount, but his abilities take a lot of energy to use. But he can regenerate energy by being nearby orc units that use war. 443, 235, war boss decapping stuff. Another death dread for Fat Eon, why not? That awesome ranged attack again, and here is the warp vomit. The most crazy stun in the game. 7 second stun, area of effect, no friendly fire on it. And let's not forget that stun increases the damage that a target takes. I believe it's 20%. So that's a 20% damage debuff as well. Such a crazy ability and forces off the Hormagaunts. Zap jumps to the Lictor Alpha. Capillary Tower is up. Here comes the other Death Dread and it's getting burners and bits as well. 140, 20 for this upgrade. It is really worth it though. 423, 235. Bomber are going to wipe here, I think. Death Dread. Going after the Venom Brood. Can they finish it off? Yes, they can. Seem to get some shots off while they were in melee combat there. That was pretty lucky. 423, 231. Looters tied up by the Lick to Alpha. Weird boy. Unable to hit him with his ranged attack. Lictrafa should be tying him up, but Floyd obviously looking elsewhere right now at his Venom Brood. Warrior Brood chasing down the Death Dread. Takes down the Venom Brood model with Flamer and turns to engage them. Warrior Brood needs to be very careful here. They cannot take on a Walker by themselves generally. And he's lucky that that was a Sink Kill. Might have finished off the squad if it wasn't. So Fat E recovering very, very well from that terrible ending to tier 1 for him. With Weird Boy and double Death Dreads. One of the Death Dreads has gone down. This one is still around, almost leveled as well. Floyd is in tier 3 and gets some Gene Stealers up. Now tier 3 for Fat E. Weird Boy capping duty. Still level 1, no upgrades purchased yet. 404, 231. Healthy VP lead for Floyd, almost 200. We'll see. If he can push it home in tier 3. Has Gene Stealers. Most likely going to get their rending claws as soon as he can. So he can rip apart that Death Dread. We'll see. Haven't seen the Lictor Alpha use the de-jump. Apart from that time he used it to escape. Looters setting up covering this approach. Death Dread using its burners to burn down his generator node. Being repaired by the Sluggers. Sluggers are now level 3. Wow. Looters suppressing that Warrior Brood with the Death Gun. Takes out a model as well. You saw that synaptic bomb there. Lictor Alpha jumps in. There is Warp Vomit again. 404-222. Weird Boy needs to run from the Lictor Alpha. Really do need to support your Weird Boy with units around it. Do not want to lose this guy. Death Dread now level 2. War Boss getting Cyborg implants, spotting the Gene Stillers, wants to try and counter them with his War Boss. Should get the trophy rack as well if he can. No, he's gone for Angry Bits. That's a mistake, I think. 404 222. 
Maybe he wants to use that to try and tie up the Venom Brood quickly. But I really would have got a trophy rack alongside the Cyborg Implants. 404219. Flesh Hook on the War Boss. And Lictor Alpha goes to engage. Now he's charging him with Angry Bits, which increases his health regen. But he's just going to get absolutely mobbed here. There is the big stomp from Cyborg Implants. And he gets away. Death Tread is there, taking a lot of damage though from the Venom Brood. Gene Steelers have their Rending Claws, gives them heavy melee damage, and they're using Adrenal Rush and they're going after the Death Tread. Have lost a model. User Choppers on the Sluggers, but forced off by the Hormagorn and Elixir Alpha. Down goes the Death Tread. A big engagement and a bad engagement for Fat E. I think he charged the War Boss in a bit too quickly there. Was too far ahead of the rest of his forces. And the looters again were not involved in the engagement. Need to retreat and hope for the best. There is hard boys on them to try and help them escape, which seems to have worked. Yes. Now he's hitting power with Venom Brood. Only two models left, and they do have their range synapse. So the Termigus now have more damage and more health. I think it's 35% more health for range synapse. Melee Synapse is plus 60% health. Hormagaunt Brood forced off by Zap. Here comes the Warboss charging into those Gene Stealers. Forces them off. They did take down a node. And that's a full retreat from Floyd, I think. Fat needs to act quickly. And Cap is going for a looted tank, which I think is a good decision. Doesn't want a knob squad. They would get absolutely owned by the Gene Stealers and Elixir Alpha. Who could get terrified. Or Menacing Visage, as the War Gear is called, to force them off as well. So, I think Flash Kits and Looted Tanks and Commandos are the order of the day for Fat Evil C, though. War Boss Level 3. 404148. Looters capping mid. Looted Tank is here. Battle Tank for Orcs can actually disrupt with a big boom shot has heavy bolters on the sponsons overall a decent tank can get extra plating as well which it is getting reinforced plating in fact it's called up to 850 hit points now Venom Brew losing models saw the big warp vomit there which stunned all of that stuff and then the weird boy ran away and the looters are gonna wipe oh they know the warp boss saves them with a charge and then a big stomp and the big boom shot from looted tank good grief floyd losing tons of stuff here but does get away and importantly didn't lose a brood sluggers doing really well almost level four level four being the maximum for a non-commander unit commanders can level to ten Victor Alpha decapping bottom 362148. It's a one to one cap. Floyd maintaining his around about 200 VP lead. This looted tank is a game changer. I think you should get double looted tanks or back it up with a couple of flash kits. We'll see what he goes for. The commandos could be excellent since they cap faster and have that burner bomb and love the decker. Has a lot of great options doesn't quite have the power to get another looted tank which might be what he's saving for here I really do hope he doesn't get a knob squad we have a tier 3 lictor on the way for Floyd interesting choice 340 148 a 2 to 1 cap change stillers with rending claws going after the war boss he's gonna charge away but he's crippled by the crippling poison what does get away? Looters are there, but here comes the Lictor Alpha level 4 leaping in and engages them. Looter tank keeping its distance, which is what you want to do with tanks. Always try to engage your enemy at their maximum range. Looters need to run away. Don't try to set up again, just run away. 311, 148, there we go. Looter tank now all alone, backing off towards base. Sluggers are there. Looter tank. Took a while to get going now, taking rear armor hits from the Jesus. Needs to keep going. He's going to lose it here. And does lose it. That is a huge, huge loss for Fat E. 
282-148. A triple cap for the Orc player. But that was a big loss. Sluggers do get away there. Level 4 Sluggers. 1950 hit points. Wow. All boss level 4. 259-148. And he's going for a knob squad. That's a mistake, I think. We'll see how it goes. He has a power melee Lictor Alpha. He has G Stillers. He has Under Melee Synapse. Endless Swarm Hormagaunts. Endless Swarm Termigants. Taking out to 10 models each. And he's assaulting base here. 237, 140. It's a 2 to 1 cap for Fat E. Floyd just holding up the Orcs while he caps elsewhere. Again, Floyd staying in this engagement a bit too long, loses his, was that the Warrior Brood? That was the Warrior Brood, no longer has melee synapse on the field now. And this could make all the difference with the knob spot hitting the field just as that Warrior Brood is taken out. K3 Lictor, where is he? He's right there. Actually superior to the Lictor Alpha in a few ways, has heavy melee damage, starts with a leap, flesh hook, and its infiltration does not drain its energy. So a really powerful sub commander for two and it's hence it's in tier three. Two zero eight one four eight. Knob squad on the field. Is Floyd gonna replace his melee synapse here? This is a big question. Gene Stillers are nowhere near as effective without melee synapse, which would take them up to 90 melee skill, even more when they're leveled up, which allows them to knock around and take out pretty much any melee squad. Apart from perhaps Lightning Claw Terminators. 195-148. Victor Alpha chasing down a weird boy. Has the bigger brains. Victor Alpha leaping and might get caught in retreat. But looks like it will get away. Jeansel is now engaging. The Sluggers need a warp vomit. There it is. Which saves the Sluggers I think. Unless that Victor flesh hooks them. Nope, they do get away. Knob Squad now engaging. Do they have Mina and Greena? I think that they know they... Yes, they do. You can tell by the plus icon above their indicator there. No sign of Frenzy though. You really do need to be careful when you use Frenzy in Elite Mod. Doesn't last anywhere near as long. Has a long cooldown and costs 75 war. 60 second cooldown I think on Frenzy now. Warboss has the Bang Bang Hammer. I was going to just about to suggest this. He's gone for it. Really powerful melee weapon. Buffing surrounding units with every hit. 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 8. Knob Squad on capping duty. Looks like Floyd has replaced his Warrior Brood and is getting Adreno Glands. But they're going to start at level 1. And if the knobs are buffed and go straight after the Warrior Brood... They're not going to last long. It might be pertinent for Floyd to send in his Gene Stillers and just keep his Warrior Brood close by for the melee synapse buff. But don't engage the knobs with them. Just engage some Termigants or something. 187, 14. It might not have a choice, of course. The Weird Boy could throw the knobs into the Warrior Brood. Here come the Knob Squad. Under pressure. Don't have their knob beat up. There's a Rocks. That's a painful Rocks. Boom! That could be a game winner. That is crazy. Wow. Wipes out the Gene Stealers. Wipes out Termigants and Hormigaunts. And that could be it. 64-148. Fatty with a 2-1. to one, Overcoming huge adversity in this game. Warboss level 6 now. Almost level 7. Tier 3 Lictor trying to decap. You can decap while you are infiltrated although when you initially start the decap you will be revealed for a few seconds but now he's capping and the war boss can see him gonna smack him in the face with his bang bang hammer there's the big stomp knockback and stun and damage and this lictor elf this lictor sorry is in trouble he needs to retreat and does what's going on here been a brood warrior brood and termigants that rocks. I think has won the game for Fat E. He's got a double. He's got a single now. Going to be a 2-1 for F 
Floyd, is it? Can he cap mid hit? Weird boy gets a flesh hook to the face. Backs away, here comes the knob squad. Level 2 with a knob leader, there's a Toronto formation. Not nearly as effective as the rocks was, was it? Not back, the knob squad didn't do a whole lot else. Did do a fair amount of damage, but they just got out with almost 4,000 hit points at level 2. Very lean in level 3 as well. 11, 148 is the one to one cap. Hard boys up for the sluggers. Tommy Guns capping mid. Need to run away though. Warrior Brew do not want to engage level 4 sluggers and knobs. Especially when they're level 1. Losing a model on retreat. And they just about get away. 2 to 1 cap. Knob Squad really making a difference at the end then. After all I said about not getting them, he did take out the Warrior Brood at just the right time. And then of course that that Rocks pretty much won the game. So maybe the Knobs themselves didn't win it. But their presence to tank for the Rocks there was important. And they get their U-Jammers now. And he has a lot of resources, Fatty. He could get a looted tank quite soon. He has a double cap, though. I think he's just going to see this out. Almost have a triple. Floyd trying to decap until the end. But Fatty does take the game. What an enjoyable 1v1. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.